Okay, I want to go over how we're going to build these paper rockets for your statistical analysis of your rocket flight later this week. Underlined in green are the materials you need to assemble. Uh, you can also see these materials that you need on the Moodle document, uh, uh, the 321 Puff document I have placed there. You can download that. Now you need a sheet of paper, 8.5 by 11, white or colored paper, uh, the cellophane tape, which is the same as scotch tape, scissors, ruler, a, f a round pencil, uh, coloring pencils work all right, um, and a drinking straw if you want to test your rocket uh, at home. I'll provide drinking straws. So here I've got uh, my tape, uh, I've, got, I've got some paper, I've got my rulers, and I've got my scissors, and my drinking straw, and my round pencil. And these coloring pencils actually work pretty good. The first thing that you're going to do is you'll take your your eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper, all right, and you'll cut cut it into these strips. Each of these strips is four centimeters in that dimension, four centimeters by twenty eight centimeters, which is about your eight and a half by eleven. Okay, so the extra what stuff you can cut us put aside. Um, I'm using an orange and red construction paper. Uh, this happens to be a square, six centimeters by six centimeters, and you can use whatever's left over your paper to cut cut yourself a couple of squares. You'll need that later for your fins. Okay, I mean, I've got my ruler, my drinking straw. I don't need that until later. Okay, so now what I need to do is make the rocket body, and I'm going to roll up this paper using this pencil and then we're going to tape the body. So I'm going to slide it off the edge here to get it started. Uh, start it at the bottom over here. See how I have it. And I've got it kind of angled like so. Now you want to try to roll it up as tight as you can. Okay, move my ruler out of the way. Okay. It's okay about the ends. And construction paper I have found isn't the best smoothest paper because it kind of wants to crinkle. I'm just rolling it up. We don't want it to to be loose, but you know, it will kind of loosen up. Okay, so I've got it rolled up. I'm holding it here. And now I've already ripped a piece of tape. And go ahead tape that up all along there. And that's okay if someone off the edge Right. Now, fortunately, for this, I can pull my pencil out. So now I've got my rocket body. Okay. Go ahead, and I want to go ahead and trim the ends. All right. Throw these in the trash. Don't leave them on the floor. All right. So there's my rocket body. Now I need to prepare some fins to go on the rocket body. Okay. What you want to do here is take this square, and you can cut uh, whatever size. I mean, obviously, if you get too big, you might need to redo it, but I just cut six centimeter by six centimeter square, and I'm going to fold it over like so. Okay. Use my ruler here. just to draw some lines. Now obviously you can take a little more time. Do so. Okay. All right. And then I would go ahead and cut this out. Now I have some fins that I can kind of fold. Oops. Some fins that I can fold here. And then I'll be able to tape this onto my rocket, again, using cellophane tape. And you can, I can make some other fins as well. Um, there are plenty of other designs that you could try. Now, one thing is we also have to make cones, right? 
And here are some examples of making cones for your rocket. Now, here you kind of shred the top of your rocket tube with your scissors, and you've got to be careful, and then you can twist it together and tape it up. Here, you just gather up the end, the top end, and tape it up. Here, you just you can fold over the end and tape it up. So there's these one, two, three different kinds, okay? Uh, those are options. If you think of another way, you can do that too. But just use the tape, okay? Uh, this is what I did for my fin, and I'm going to tape that on the rocket body in a moment. But here's another option. You can cut out a fin shaped, and you see these lines. Uh, cut right there on that line and fold them. Fold one that way, fold it that way, and then you can tape them on. So that's an option too, okay? So when I cut my tube, and since this end is a little bit wider than this end, this is going to be my bottom where I put my fins on, and this is going to be the top, okay? So what I did here, you know, carefully trim these all the way along here, okay? That's what I have to do and I end up with with this, okay? Now I need a piece of tape to get my, okay? Now if I kind of twist this up right here, I can twist it up and put a piece of tape. Now this tape's a little bit big and feel free to cut your tape down so it's a little bit smaller. But you just gotta seal it up there because we're gonna, you're gonna use your, your air, your exhaling, puffing through the straw, to launch it, and so you want to make sure it's sealed pretty good up there. Okay. Now we're gonna put a piece of fin on, so I'm gonna get a little piece of tape, and again, it might be helpful for you to cut your tape beforehand. Okay. So down here at the bottom, I'm gonna go ahead. Take this fin on down here. Oops, it's a little too big. Alright, and tape it on up here. Okay, now I have my rocket. Now I would probably want to add other fins, but this is good enough for now. And you're ready to bring your rocket to school so we can launch it and do our analysis, but how you launch it is you'll put it in the drinking straw and then obviously like you're blowing bubbles just give it a puff from this end and we'll see how far they go and we're going to do several trials and measure the average okay so you need to have this rocket built and go ahead and build one test it at home if you don't like it build another one they're pretty easy to make uh, and when you have one uh, that you like maybe store it in a styrofoam cup or something and bring it to school uh, when the assignment is due which will probably be Monday